What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today, by the way, I'm really sorry. My throat is shot, but <laughs> it's not going to stop me from creating content. Now, I got a YouTube comment on the video about the smile virus talking about something that came before it called Pestra Obia. Now, I do not believe I'm following. Actually, no, apparently I am following Osu Shat or Osus Hat. <laughs> Osu Shat. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, the pest Pestrophobia series. No, I was not inspired by the smile virus. So this one's not inspired by the smile virus. And I'm going to look at it today. <clears throat> so, because I was recommended to look at this. So let's do that. Now, to be quite honest, I can't read this. I do not speak Russian, but we're going to read the uh, the corner here. It says, <clears throat> all I've seen her done in there is cry all day, all night. And even that doesn't sound normal. Marble Pie says, glancing at the mere rotting corpse of Twilight weeping in the cell, giving out a bellowing wail over and over and over again, never stopping. She's in pain. I don't think that's what this says, but that's what the description of the video said. Oh, that this is the second video. So apparently I skipped one. Where's the first one? Uh, I don't think it exists. I don't see the first one. Cause everything I've, I've watched all these <clears throat> unless I'm mistaken, but I, I believe the first one might be gone. So I guess we just got to move on from there. So nurse Redheart <clears throat> is she's an earth pony appears to be healthy. Doesn't really appear to have any side effects. Uh, white pigmentation, light pink mane slash tail art, Ar Ar Arctic blue eyes. She's an indoor nurse. Her health is 76%. So she, she's looking fairly healthy. Marble Pie is also a medic. Uh, she looks a little tired. I can tell from the uh, black underneath her eye. But she overall doesn't look too bad. Her health is really high. So 99%. But she's pretty stressed out and paranoid. Okay. God damn Twilight psychotic. She looks fucked. Her eye is like falling out. Her mouth is like ripped open. Wow. That is an interesting design. That is creepy. So Pestrobia, 67%, but she's also 73% docile. Her health is 32%, so her health's deteriorating. Her sanity is also very low. Hostility is growing, so it's at 23%. She's not too hungry, but she's quite docile, and she's getting lonely. But it's quite low when it comes to loneliness. Uh, in solitude testing, more docile, and she has a heart with her, and it looks like blood vials. Wow, that's uh, crazy. So that's what this uh, little description is about when it comes to Marble Pie talking about Twilight rotting away in a cell. Basically, she, her flesh is starting to rot away. Her eye is literally falling out of her, out of its fucking socket. So yeah, that's that's not good. Uh, what an interesting start to Pestrobia. Now, next up, uh, Pest. I I really hate that shit. Like TikTok needs to fix that. That's really fucking annoying. Pestrobia, I miss you so much. I can still be with you day and night. But I will not be able to hear your voice to be able to feel your warmth. Now, before we continue on with what this said, bro, it says Pestrobia number four. Where, where's number two? No, wait, we just read number two. Where's number three? I feel like some episodes were removed, which is not a good thing, but it's overall fine because at least we can still see some of it. But that's sad. That's sad. We can't witness the full thing in its perfect glory. But I'm going to read the uh, description here. Keep quiet. Silence. They can still hear. If you scream and weep, they will not care. Pleading for your life will not change anything in them. They are like wild animals. Go and hide. Seek a bunker and take flurry heart inside. But what about shining armor? Go and hide. So basically from what I'm getting from that is uh, we got four slides. It looks like there's four slides, right? And I can assume Luna 
from looking at her face here, I'm looking at her eyes. It looks like they're kind of like distorted almost. Luna might be partially infected by Pestorovia. I'm not too sure. And I'm guessing Shining Armor is infected because they said, uh, I'm guessing she's talking to Cadence because it says take Flurry Heart inside. But what about Shining Armor? So I assume Shining Armor is infected and I assume Cadence is fine, but we're about to find out. No, Luna, Luna is, uh, damn, Luna is not infected. Uh, she looks tired, very tired. Uh, Luna stays next to Celestia inside the palace that's silent and eerie. She keeps Celestia comfortable in her state by bringing some blanket in case she gets cold somehow. Her health is 100%, so she's very healthy, and she's very sane, so she's okay, but she is a little paranoid. She has a bit of anxiety, and she is dealing with some stress. Now, I can tell from the next side, Celestia is screwed. Damn. Damn. That's that's a way to go. That is a way to go. Uh, it doesn't really say anything on the top, but it says Celestia, Unihorn, Pegasus, blue, green, purple, pink, main tail. Her, so her hair appears to be fine, but her flesh on her body looks like it has completely rotted away. Like you can mainly see her skeleton. Uh, white pigmentation or something like that. I don't know. She remains still in the palace with Luna at her side. She remains warm yet silent in her state. She is resting and resting peacefully. She is safe. She is protected. She shall wake up later. Hopefully she doesn't wake up because if she wakes up, oh boy, she's going to be in agony. Cadence is a survivor. She's fairly healthy. Uh, health is 98%. She's quite hungry and thirsty though she definitely needs some food and water her sanity is pretty high though she's not very insane her stress and her paranoia is raising though uh Caden sets out to find a bunker to hide out in while luna stays behind with the resting celestia she brings flutter heart with her leaving shining armor behind due to him contracting the illness i had a feeling shining armor was infected just from reading that but i just didn't expect celestia that kind of got me a little bit okay Next up. Okay, this one is number five, and we just looked at number four. So let me read the description first to see if we can catch any clues before we actually read it. Uh, I know they're not looking for her. They only care about finding Starlight besides anything else. I know she's long gone from here. Why can't they bring Apple Bloom here to me? Never mind. Okay. So I assume this has to do a little bit with Applejack because Apple Bloom was brought up, but we're going to find out. Man, my throat is shot. It feels like absolute shit. I've done a full search and I still didn't see her anywhere. Did you not hear what I said before? Look above and also look low. Look inside buildings and houses till you find her. I'm I'm a look in the sky. I do not look low. Do you think I care about that? Scootaloo is a survivor. She appears to be in good health, 97%, but she has a few wounds here and there. She has a wound on her nose. She has a wound on her ear. Uh, she has wounds on her hooves, it appears, and she has orange pigmentation, which is obvious, but she's overall okay. She doesn't seem to be in too bad of health. So her health is pretty high. Her stress, it's getting there. She's not she's not dealing with too much anxiety, but it's, it's, it's slowly going up. Paranoia is quite low. She's very thirsty and very hungry, and her sanity is 100%, so that's good. She's not insane. And she, I think, sleep 100%, meaning she either had sleep or she needs it. I'm not too certain. But I'm going to guess it means uh, she needs sleep because she does look a little tired, but I'm not too sure. I don't care what you two do while I sleep. Just don't bother me. Uh, Radiga brought me here. I don't want to be here all day. Okay. <clears throat> Apple Bloom is a survivor. Her health is a little bit lower than Scootaloo's, but she's still fairly healthy. Hunger and thirst are going up. Anxiety is quite high. Paranoia is quite high. Her stress is uh, really high. Her sleep is negative nine. Does that mean like if it's low, they're tired? I, I'm confused. I, I don't know. Sometimes this stuff confuses me, but we're just going to, I'm just going to look at it like this. If it's a hundred percent, they need sleep. If not, they're not as tired, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Sanity is also quite high. So she's pretty sane. Um, what is wrong with you? Leave me alone. Go away. Don't touch me. Applejack. Are you okay? 
Stay back. Why do you look like that? What's going on? Why won't you answer me? <clears throat> so I have a feeling I know what the next slide is. I, I, I have a feeling. I did not expect that. I was expecting Applejack. Uh, Shining Armor is a victim. Holy crap, his tongue is like out of his mouth like a fucking worm. Jesus Christ. He's a unicorn. He got blue eyes, white pigmentation. Dark blue and cyan mane tail. Uh, yeah, he looks... Uh, he does not look well at all. So, Pestra Obia is 89%. He's not too hungry. He's not too thirsty. Hostility is 78%. So, he's not safe to be around at all. He's not very docile. He's definitely not very sane. His insanity is definitely high. His consciousness is 10%. He won't stop. He keeps following. I don't know how. I don't know how either. If I was like that, I'd want to lay in the, the, round, the ground and fucking rot because that looks agonizing. That looks tragic. But that's the last one for Pastor Obia number five. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got number six. Goody, goody, goody. It's going to do it. I knew it. Fuck you, TikTok. Pastor Obia. She'll be all right here. Don't worry. You are welcome to visit often. She'll be given medicine. Hold on. So this is Pastor Obia number six. And in one of the first slides we've seen for Pastor Obia. I think there's a slight flaw to this. Basically, if we remember the first picture of Twilight, her eye was falling out and everything. But if you look here, they just kind of got like an average picture of Twilight looking like she's insane. So either I, I can assume two things. One, uh, she's getting healed up like she's not. I don't know. Maybe the virus is getting cured a little bit. Maybe they found a bit of a cure or two. They just got lazy and found a PNG of Twilight and just put it there to make it work. But I, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Uh, she'll be all right here. Don't worry. You're welcome to visit often. She'll be given medicine. So, <clears throat> hold on. I fucking knew it. I hate it when TikTok does that. Survivor, Bon Bon. I don't want to hear music with people, like, yelling. That shit's annoying to me. Survivor is Bon Bon. She has a pink and blue mane slash tail. She has a bit of a scar in her eye. Uh, yellow pigmentation. You're okay. Relax. Keep her safe. Stay here. Health is 99%, so she's pretty healthy. She's quite sane. She is very hungry and thirsty. That's definitely going up. Stress is quite high. Paranoia is quite high. Um, I, no, I'm just going to ignore the sleep thing because my mind cannot wrap around what it means. Because I don't know if sleep 100% means she had sleep or she needs sleep. I really don't know. And her anxiety is also quite low, so she's not too. she doesn't have too much anxiety right now. Lyra is also a survivor. I cannot read this because it says find related content in the way of the word, but I assume it says, no, I didn't get sick. I just scraped my knee. We can go to the bunker. I heard that it's open now to those who need a safe place. So she's quite healthy. She doesn't appear to be infected. Her sanity is quite high. She's not insane at all. Hunger is quite high and thirst is quite high. So she really does need some food and water. Uh, stress is also quite high. Paranoia is quite high. Uh, anxiety, 76%. So... Uh, Lyra appears to be okay. Now, obviously, with every one of these slides, there's always someone who's caught the virus and a fucked up form of how they look. I bet that's next. Now, it doesn't appear as if she has a virus because it says she's a survivor. But she does look like she's been fucked up a bit, like a bit of a chunk of her ear is missing. She looks very tired. She has scratch marks on her eye. Stay back. Ow, are you okay? What's wrong with you, Rarity? Oh, so Rarity is infected. Oh my God. I'm really sorry, guys. My throat is just out of it today. Rarity, what's wrong? Why are you making those sounds? Why is the house a mess? So her health is decent, 77%. She's fine. Sanity is also, it could be better, but it could be worse. She is going a little bit insane. I could tell just from the look of her. I, I think I got that picture already. She isn't too hungry or thirsty, though, so I think she's okay when it comes to food and water for a little bit. Her stress is through the roof, though, 99%, so she's quite stressed. Paranoia is also 89%. I get that. And anxiety is 88%, so she's 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 tweaking. So, yeah, I do feel bad for Sweetie Belle. And by the way, if I say anything when it comes to the story, like if I criticize it or I do this or I do that, I don't hate it at all. I actually think this is super fucking cool still. Just I'm a little sad there's some missing pages because I really wanted to see the whole thing in all of its beautiful glory. 
Next up. Okay. Yeah, we're not listening to that music. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not also judging the creator for using music when it comes to their slides at all. Like, if you want to use whatever kind of music you want to use, that is completely fine by me. I just don't really want to listen to it myself. Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah. Once again, the throat shot. Pastorobia, number seven. Where are you? Please answer me. I miss you. Please come back. Survivor, Sunset Shimmer. So Sunset Shimmer is a survivor. Uh, someone has arrived at a little at the wrong moment. The entire time, she hasn't been in Ponyville for the longest and has only arrived now to see abandonment. What? What is that? Where is everybody? Did I miss something? What happened here? It appears as if her hooves are quite dirty. She looks a little tired and her mane is a little bit messed up. Like It looks like it's... Uh, you can see the little curves here, and it looks like she's a little stressed out. So, yeah, the stress is probably high. Health is 100%, and sanity is 100%. So, she's not too, she's not in, in a bad state. Her insanity is zero, so that's very good. She's getting a little hungry and thirsty, though. She could use some food and water. Sleep is 87%. Stress is 1%. Paranoia is 1%. But her anxiety is also raising a little bit. So, uh, Trixie is the police. Interesting. I've kept searching for you, but I didn't see you anywhere. She's a unicorn. She has a light blue, sky blue main tail, blue pigmentation, purple eyes. She looks a little tired, but she overall looks like she's in pretty good condition. I'll take you back to the bunker. Keep calm. Follow me. Where are you, Starlight? So health and stress is pretty good. She's chill. Wait, maybe I should look at it like this. If the stress is 100%, right? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think I know how the sleep works now. I think I know how it works now. So if stress is 1%. That means they have low stress. Okay? That means they have low stress. But if you have sleep, right? The higher the percentage, it means you're more well-rested. The lower the percentage, it means... That you're getting more tired. Okay, that's what I'm going to go off of. I think that makes the most sense. But overall, Trixie appears to be in pretty good in a pretty good state. Although she is quite hungry and thirsty. And her paranoia and anxiety are raising. And she's going a little insane from all this. Next up. <clears throat> who is the infected one we will be seeing within this slide? I knew Rarity was going to come along eventually when we saw Sweetie Belle, but... A carrier of Pestrobia has somehow gotten out of their enclosure and are roaming about the town. If you see this pony, stay away from them. They are highly dangerous and is not who anyone who... Wait, what? They are highly dangerous and is not anyone who is approachable. And if you're able to contact someone immediately before anything drastic happens. So, yeah, Rarity, covered in blood, her horn looks like it got ripped off. Youch. And her eyes look like terrifying as shit that's scary <laughs> that's actually terrifying all right uh next up i believe it's this one yeah i like this music i think this music makes sense so watch what happens this is what i mean when i say hate when i hate tiktok for this shit when i click play because it's a slide it's going to automatically go over just like that like fuck you tiktok but anyway <clears throat> this music's fine pestrobia well man Fucking, I'm going to punch whoever made TikTok in the fucking balls. What? What happened here? Did I start this? I still have a package to deliver. Oh, poor little dorpy. So victim, Euro, Bizarre Bomb. Uh, to think the disease wouldn't spread to other places, unfortunately, it found a way. Uh, I think I've seen, yeah, I've seen this one before, so I did like this one. So I did know about Pestrobia before. Uh, blue, pink, purple, yellow pigmentation, and, uh... I think that says homo main. I don't know. Pestrobia is six is 57%. Uh, sanity is 34. Insanity is 76. But they're pretty docile too. Hostility is not as high as docility. Hungry. They're not too hungry or thirsty. Loneliness is getting there. And consciousness is like 50%. So they don't look like they're in the worst condition. They don't. But I'm guessing it'll get there. Next up. Damn. What the fuck? 
Victim, Sapphire Shores, Light Yellow Pigmentation, Blue Mane Tail, Earth Pony, The Bones of Snapping, as it looked upon the young filly. That's disturbing. That is so creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Sta the sanity is 0%. They're 100% insane. They're extremely hostile. They're not hungry or thirsty. They're very lonely. They have no conscience. And everything else is just zero. So they're quite deadly. And as you can tell... But also, I do notice something, right? Here, it says that this guy, Giro, is a victim. Here, it says she's a victim with a question mark. And obviously, she has something, because there's no way anyone normal would be like this. But it has a question mark, so there could be more to this. Lotus. Oh, 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 oh. It's completely unknown, but it looks as if she's infected. Now, here's my assumption going forward. Uh, they got a mutated strand of the virus known as Pestrobia. So I feel like maybe that is what happened. Is they got some kind of mutated strand and it's going to like get a little worse. I don't know. All right, next up. What is this? Oh. Happy late birthday, Osu oh, Shat. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pesterobia is still sadly on hold. I haven't forgotten Pesterobia. I just got back from the hospital. Aw. I'm sorry about that. I hope they're doing good. I hope they're doing pretty good. But it appears as if it's continued, so let's keep it up. What the fuck is that? Creepy music, perfect. Anyway, uh, Cheese Sandwich is definitely a victim. He's uh, he's done. He's done. Sorry, Pinky, your boyfriend's dead. There, there are those who scratch, and then there are those who bite. Don't think about slowing down. That makes you weak. Yellow shirt, brown mane slash tail, earth pony, and dark yellow pigmentation. Now, the things I'm noticing here is his eyes are completely black because there's nothing in his eye sockets. His nose looks like it's rotting away at the tip here. And there's blood coming down from his ear, and his ear looks completely ripped off. And his tongue is in a worm-like state, so... Yeah. Pastorobia is 78%. He has no consciousness. He is very insane, and he's very hostile. So he's quite a deadly one to be around. What the hell? A chainsaw would cut clean through. Although it's still moving, I don't know. Should we be concerned with it walking? The sign said not to trespass. Besides, they were infected. Okay. Survivor, Daka. I have no idea who the hell Daka is, so it might be an OC, but I'm not too sure. It looks like a cool design, though. I like it. They have a handgun. Health is quite high. They're doing pretty okay. Hunger is high. They're getting hungry. They're getting slightly tired, but not too much. Stress is pretty high. Paranoia is could be worse, could be better. Anxiety is definitely doing okay, and she is very thirsty. Okay, we got one a uh, little slide with uh, Bon Bon and Lyra. I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. Yeah, Rarity. Peeking in the door, looking at Sweetie Belle. I had a feeling... I had a fucking feeling. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a yikes right there. That's a yikes. So Sweetie Belle's going to get infected. That's my assumption. Wait, is this like a completely different thing? This is a completely different thing. I believe that's a completely different thing. Oh my God, guys. I need some water. Jeez Louise. Okay, so this is basically how Pesterobia works. So this is going to be quite interesting. Pesterobia is spread through a few ways, by an infected, coughing on an uninfected or scratch them, then the exposed wound will start to eat away from there. Symptoms is cold symptoms, bruising of the skin, changes in behavior, irregular actions, incoherent speech, appearance dis disformalities, change in appetite, and bone visibility. Bestrobia. Exposed wounds will become infected with parasites that are scattered all outside. 
When a wound is not attended to parasites, waste no time to crawl inside and make their way into feasting on the new meal that's being freely displayed. Other times when it comes to parasites, they're mostly considered to be the cause of the state of insanity due to the parasite eating away at the brain. Then again, parasites may never actually exist. It could just be a psychological hallucination of a possible feeling underneath the skin. Uh, Starlight Slimmer. I don't remember her last name a hundred percent, but she's gone, but not dead. She has kept herself hidden and out of all sight all because it's her fault. She was the last seen with Trixie, the last person to have known if she was seen sick or not. She's locked away at her own home, either sleeping, crying, or coughing, but either way, she sits in her own misery on being alive and the problem, yet at the same time, the answer. Okay, that's that's a little creepy. A little creepy. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So, I we got to keep searching for more pestrobia because it looks here like it's getting, like it, they don't haven't done it in a second here. Nope, there's one thing right here, but let's look at these just to make sure. Yeah, no, we're good. I think it's this. Yep, there we go. Wait, what? Yeah, pestrobia number ten. So as you can see, Twilight, Pinky, Rainbow, Applejack—they all look like they're kind of suited up and trying to fight the virus. So let's see how this goes. Damn, that's a sick design, but holy shit, that's scary. <laughs> so Daring Do is obviously infected, like, obviously. <laughs> Health is 100%, host hostility is 101. So they're very deadly to be around. Consciousness, they have a slight bit of consciousness left. That's kind of scary. Wow, how do you have a conscious when your body is deformed like that? Jesus Christ. Uh, Flim and Flam is also infected. Okay. It's not as disturbing as the last one, but it's still pretty disturbing to look at. Health is 45%. Consciousness. He has a 50% consciousness, so he's probably just in severe pain. Twilight got cured. So I guess that answers my question to when we saw that picture of Twilight... In um, that one image, although my question, right, when it comes to that one image where we saw her behind the glass and she looked completely fine from the first time we saw her, is how were they able to get her eyes back in like that or even fix up parts of her that looked like it was severely deformed, like her jaw? I don't know. It had to be some kind of magic, but you got to think my little pony friendship is magic. Magic could have done the trick. I don't know. So she's not the healthiest, but she's not too bad. She is quite insane though. Definitely insane. She's a little hungry and thirsty. No, she's not a little. She's a lot. She's not too stressed out. She is tired. I can assume she's tired. She apparently has a 2% consciousness. So does that mean it's not really Twilight? I don't know. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. And we don't know how docile she is. <coughs> Excuse me. I've made up a temporary career and treated it on Twilight. She's doing better, but she's acting off. She's been a lot more active compared to how she's been. However, she's very jittery. Once she asked me if she could help with curing the others, at the time she seemed like her normal self, and we were in desperate times, so I said yes. I didn't think that she would have caused something like this to happen. I didn't even notice the things she had in her cell, either. It wasn't my job to look through there anyways. Her mind is in a different place for sure. She's fascinated by all the things she has seen and have known. Even by other ponies, she's curious about them. Saying that they look cute, she says this as if she isn't even her... This isn't even her one herself. She's in her cell now, sleeping. So I was right. Basically, Twilight got cured, but she's not 100% herself. She's quite insane. What a slide. You know what? You know what? You know what? Time to get that thumbnail, because I think that's a perfect thumbnail right there, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, uh, Twilight's quite insane. Uh, those are previous OCs. This is... Uh... That's her in her cell. Okay. Pestrobia number 11. So we got Applejack. Music's creepy.
Damn. Anyway, Twilight. Still insane, but her eyes are kind of open. What the fuck? You're a quiet one. Did you need something from me? Why she look like that? What is it? What is it that you want? You cannot speak. I can help with that. Just follow me. The procedure won't take long at all. And plus it won't hurt a bit either. Don't think we have any pro propofol. So you'll be awake for the whole thing. Don't worry. It won't hurt. She lied. Of course she lied. Look at her fucking face. She's insane. <laughs> so she fucked Applejack all up. Okay. So she got tested like a toy. That's what it says here. Cause I'm looking at the comment. So did Applejack got tricked by Twilight into some surgery room or somewhat? Yep. And was basically tested on like some toy. Eventually nurse Redheart came and stopped her before going any further. So Twilight was literally just experimenting on Applejack. Holy fuck, dude. That's, that's, that's crazy to me. That's wild. This ain't the same one. That's a different thing. I'll, if you want me to look at that later, I can. Oh, we got a video that says Pestrobi in it. I'm the last princess. You're also the only one who doesn't trust her friends. Do you not know that sucking my dick is a serious offense? Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Pestrobia. I was reading, bitch. I had a dream. An odd one. What is that music? Pause that. That shit's creepy as hell. Only that Im imagery was there. And in the background was a loud extended scream. The eyes were moving, looking all over the place. My God. That's not scary. <laughs> Anyway, okay. I think this is the next one about Pastorobia. Yep, number 12. Despite the chaos already happening, there are others who are willing to go solo just to fool one's mind. All for what purpose? I do not know. Uh, Day, I don't even know at this point. Why did I even start counting anyways? Who the hell is knocking at me door? Mid-moment in an apocalypse. Knock, knock. Jeez, okay, I'm coming. Knock, knock. Starlight. She's back, but here, to me, why? Can I come in? In suspicion, the door is open slowly, leaving a large enough gap for Starlight to enter. All the while, Trixie was giving her a certain glare. I'm really sorry for coming here, Trixie. I've just been stuck on a few things and needed some company. I know you probably don't want me around, but... Trixie, two hours ago. Oh, she wanted Starlight, yeah. I miss you, and I need your help. I miss you, and I need your help. I miss you, and I need your help. All right, just please stop crying. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so anyways, like I said before, I need your help, and it may sound stupid. But I was thinking that we could both try and find a cure to the end this whole fiasco. I'm doing a lot better, so there's no need to worry about you getting sick at all. Why do her eyes go like that? Hold up. Her eyes look normal here. Now look at her eyes here. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. Well, fun fact, you're not the only one to have that idea. And here's the thing. Those are always the people that end up dying moments right after even making small efforts. Why are we going to the basement? Right, but we can at least make something that could be beneficial and not endlessly wait for some random miracle to happen. Anyways, why are we going inside the basement? A loaded gun propped onto a table. No reason. Wait, Trixie, what are you doing? You are not her. So Trixie's going to pop a bullet in her ass. Damn. Okay. I, I still love this. We got to look at this again. I'm the last princess. You're also the only one who doesn't trust her friends. Do you not know that sucking my dick is a serious offense? Fuck you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know that's not Pastrobia, but that was really funny. I never expected that. But anyway, what do we got here? Pastrobia number 13. Nothing seems to be getting any better. Survivor. Maplewood is a survivor. That is an awesome OC. I like how she looks. Is that a she or a he? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, health is quite high. Stress is really high. Need sleep. Sanity is getting is quite high. Insane. Going a little insane. Very paranoid. <clears throat> Very. Anxiety is quite high, thirst is getting there, and hunger is very high. 
Uh, so, Maplewood's a survivor. That's a cool character, though. A victim. Silver Needle. That is a really cool OC. It's a Pegasus. But Pastor Obia has taken over by 67%. I'm get, what is the uh, hostility? Nine, oh, it, yeah, 90% hostile. So, they're very aggressive. Although it says fear, 99%. They added fear. So, this one's afraid almost? Interesting. Strawberry Jelly is also a patient. Wow. Health is questionable. It's not known. Uh, docile. 99% docile. So they're not really aggressive. Yeah, they're 1% hostile. So they have like a 1% chance of lashing out. Oh, no, it says Sweetie Belle was a whole jump scare. So I wonder where Sweetie Belle's going. Uh, probably next, right? Oh, my God. The virus got Discord. How, bro? I thought he was literally the embodiment of chaos. No, I just looked under the comment about Sweetie Belle. Someone literally said Discord. That's scary, dude. I'm sorry, but I can't let you back in. Pastrobia is unknown. Consciousness is 78%. So he knows. He's 88% hostile. Jesus. Now the next one, Sweetie Belle. No. Let's see. The things I've encountered on the way here. Well, I did stumble upon Sweetie Belle, but she was definitely off. Raduga found me in our woods. Or in the woods. I don't even remember the last thing was. That's scary. Okay. Here's more Pestrobia. Let's do it. Bitten. Cloud Sorbet. So they got bit. Hostility is 0%. So I'm guessing that means the infection will take over. But not right away. But they are quite paranoid, and they're not too in terrible, terrible right now, but I'm guessing it'll get worse. Zakora is a survivor, as expected, because Zakora is fucking awesome. Health is 100%. Stress is very low, because she's very calm and collected. Sanity is 100%. Uh, very sane. Very good. She's chill. Holy shit! So was Trixie right? That's... There's maggots coming out of her. What? Other half of her body has fallen off due to rotting? God damn. Jesus Christ. My God. Now I got two more to go. Oh my god, the first one and the second one are fucking pinned! What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, whatever. We're gonna look at them anyway. A disease that has rapidly taken out many ponies from the outbreak, each corpse being found day by day. Initiator of Pestrobia is Starlight Glimmer, as expected. She's gone missing. Uh, Raduga. Is that like a different character than Rainbow Dash? Who is that? Okay. Pinkamina is the lookout. So, she's fine. There's not much that we missed there in this one. This is the third one. To think the day would go back to normal where we didn't have to worry and falling into a despair of insanity is far from being a sane thought. Fluttershy's a survivor. Fluttershy remains calm inside a bunker with Discord alongside with her, being that Discord had originally brought her here for safety. Over time in the bunker, she's been occupying herself by trying to find a cure. She had help from Discord till he got sick too. That explains how Discord uh, also got infected. So, Applejack is a patient. That would explain exactly why she looks like that. Gentle yet silent. And Rarity is also a patient. She just looks overly insane. But yeah, this was Pestrobia. This was quite cool. I thought this was a very unique story. Obviously, when it comes to the MLP infection trend... A lot of similarities are going to be there, but there's always slight differences. And I got to say the biggest standout 
was Discord's like Discord's um form when he was infected. That was terrifying. And seeing Starlight Glimmer with half of her body ripped off was kind of terrifying. But yeah, it was a pretty cool story. I think there's a few flaws here and there, but I think every story is going to have a few flaws. But yeah, not only that, it was not inspired by the smile virus. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine. And that's all I got to say. So yeah, peace. Fuck this in life, I'm just too I got two eyes in the back of my head I'm watching everything you're doing instead of being here with me Being here with me I gotta sit you twice so you know I ain't scared of it I can give a fuck about it